So you have asked a good donor to be even gooder, okay? But they said no. How can you keep their enthusiasm, you know, high for the nonprofit after they've turned you down for an increase in support? Right. Well, no isn't always a no for one thing. Yeah. But you always praise them for their past generosity, you know, praise them for their loyalty. If they've been a loyal donor for a long time, you want them to remain engaged with the process. I'm going to give you a real quick story. When I worked, when I was a frontline fundraiser for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, and I had a I built a relationship with this gentleman. I got my boss and the chairman of the campaign at the time, Robert Wood Johnson IV. We went to this fellow's house to ask him for a quarter million dollar gift to the campaign at the time in the 90s. But the big the big goal was to get to his employer, who I won't get into, but was fabulously wealthy and gave on his behalf. And we get to his apartment, his penthouse, and we asked him for a gift and he said no. Oh my goodness, All right? I'm, I, I, want to, I want to blow my brains out. My boss, the chairman of the board, we thanked him for everything he did for the organization. We left and went back to the office. I called him up. I got lunch with him the next day and he ended up giving $100,000. The reason he said no is because the future of his job came into, into jeopardy the day before and he didn't cancel the, the meeting and there was no way we could have known it. But we talked, the strength of our relationship prevailed, and he was able to do a $100,000 gift. So okay. no is not always a no, yeah. but relationships do matter when it comes to fundraising.